Welcome to section 7.10. All right, gentle people, to kick off this video, what I want you to do is consider this solution. I'm going to make a very dilute solution of HCl. It's going to be 1.698 times 10 to the negative 11th molar. So super dilute. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to calculate the pH of the solution. So what I'm going to assume is that the H plus concentration is going to be 1.698 times 10 to the negative 11th, the same as the concentration of HCl. This gets me a pH of 10.77. Is my reasoning sound? All right, gentle people, let's think about this. HCl is a strong acid. And let's take a look at that pH. That pH that I calculated was 10.77. This would imply that the solution is basic. Now, does that make sense? Adding a strong acid to a solution and it resulting in a basic solution? So let's go ahead and see where my reasoning failed. Now, what happened is I made a bad assumption. I said that the H plus concentration was gonna be equivalent to the HCl concentration, 1.698 times 10 to the negative 11. But look at this number. This is a tiny number. Now remember what we've been discussing in the last few lectures. We said that water auto-ionizes, meaning water naturally breaks up into H plus and OH minus. And the H plus concentration it breaks up into is one times 10 to the negative seventh. This number is much bigger than this number. And so when I wanna go ahead and do the negative log of H plus concentration, the amount of HCO I added is insignificant. That's why I preface this as a very dilute solution. The pH is gonna be based off the thing that is giving the most H plus, which is going to be water. And so what you guys can think about is that the concentration of H plus is going to be one times 10 to the negative seven. So I'm going to get a solution very close to neutral. And now what I want to do is I want you guys to start calculating pHs of solutions. So for practice, what, so what we're going to do is we're going to start out with a 0.2 molar solution of NH3. And I want to calculate the OH minus the H plus, and I want the and I wanna know the pH of this solution. So before we get started, what I want you guys to note is that when I say 0.2 molar NH3, that means that is the initial concentration. So we have to go from that and then we can build our ice table. When we talk about OH minus, H plus, and pH, we are talking about this at equilibrium in our ice table. So let's go ahead and try to solve this problem out. All right, gentle people. So the first thing I wanna do is write down my reaction. So I have NH3 and I know that NH3 is a base. So I'm gonna write down my base reaction. It's gonna interact with H2O and it's gonna get me NH4 plus plus OH minus. So like I said before, we're gonna do an ice table. So I see and E. So let's go ahead and fill out our values. I know that my NH3 is 0.2 molar. And so remember on our last slide, I told you whenever you see 0.2 molar, that's the initial concentration. Now, if that's the initial concentration, that means that I'm starting out with no NH4 plus and no OH minus. Now, water is a liquid. So I am not going to consider water throughout the equilibrium. So since it's a non-factor, I'm just gonna skip this column. So I'm just gonna put a happy face and a line going through because it does not matter. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I've got zeros on my product side. So plus, plus, and that means I have to consume my reactants to make my products. Everything is in a one-to-one -one ratio. So X is across the board. And finally, 0 0.2 minus X, X and X. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and put this equal to a K. Now take a second and tell me what K should I look up? 
Now, hopefully what you guys realized is this is a base reaction. So I want KB. Now, again, remember, KB is not listed on your information sheet. We have to use the formula KW equals KA times KB. And so what I can do is I can get KB if I get KW and the KA of the conjugate acid. So remember what we're trying to do here, we want the KB of NH3. So this is gonna equal the KW. And so I want the conjugate of NH3. So I want the KA of NH4 plus, which appears on my information sheet. So let's go ahead and plug in some values. KW is one times 10 to the negative 14th. And if I look up the KA of NH4, it's 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10th. And so this gets me a KB value of 1.79 times 10 to the negative fifth. All right, gentle people, now that I've got a KB, I can go ahead and write my KB expression. And remember, that's going to be the last line in my equilibrium table. So what I can write down is that it's gonna be my products x times x over 0 0.2 minus x. Now what you guys will notice is this KB is really small. So I'm gonna make the assumption that x is insignificant when I add or subtract it. So I'm gonna put x squared over 0 0.2. If I solve for x, x turns out to be 0 0.00189. And you guys can see from this, this is indeed a very small number. It is less than 5% of 0.2, so my assumption is correct. Well, what does x equal? Well, x equals my OH minus concentration. So now I have solved one part of my problem, so let's do the other part. The pOH is going to equal the negative log of my OH minus concentration. And so that means I can take the negative log of 0 0.00189, and what I get out is I get a pH of 2.72. Now remember, I'm after pH. And remember, pH equals 14 minus my pOH or in this case, 14 minus 2.72. And so my pH for this problem is going to be 11.28. Now, the last thing I wanted you to do was calculate the H plus concentration. So you could have calculated the H plus concentration by using the formula pH equals the negative log of my H plus concentration, and I have my pH right there. Another way that you could have done it is you could have said that the H plus concentration equals KW over the OH minus concentration. And we just figured out our OH minus concentration. Either route you choose, what you will end up with is an H plus concentration that is equivalent to 5.29 times 10 to the negative 12. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that I showed you how to work this problem forwards, I want you to practice by yourself if we were to try to run that problem backwards. Let's say I have a solution of NH3 and I tell you its pH is 11.27. What would be the NH3 concentration? And remember, when I say the concentration of NH3, I mean the initial concentration of NH3. So go ahead and try this. This is exactly like the last problem we talked about, except I'm running the problem backwards. And see if you can get around 0.2 molar. 